Hi everyone, my name is Iman and I am here to help you review for your exam. In this video, we will talk about your activities during a day out and how to describe them in an email to a friend. On Saturday afternoon and on Sunday, you do not go to school. You can stay at home, do your homework, play video games, cook with your parents, or you can go out. If you want to go out, where would you go? That's right, you can go to the restaurant, to the cinema, to the park, to the zoo, to the shops. Now, let's have a look at the following email. It's about Amin's day out. Hello, Linda. On Sunday morning, I wake up at 9 o'clock. I wear a red t-shirt, green trousers and white sneakers. At 10 o'clock, I take my ball and go to the park with my parents. In the park, I play football with my friends. Then. I eat a cheese sandwich and drink orange juice. In the afternoon, mom goes to the cinema with her friends. I go to the supermarket with dad. We buy fruit, meat, chicken and milk. After, we go to the bookshop and I buy the new Harry Potter book. I am very happy. I love reading. What about you? Where do you go on Saturday and Sunday? Love, Amin. So, in the email, you can see that Amin describes his activities during his day out using the six questions we saw in the other videos. The videos describing places and daily routines. So, if you want to describe your day out, you need to keep in mind these questions. What are you wearing? When? Why? Who? And where? Question number one. What do you wear when you go out? Do you wear a dress like I do? Let's see what you can wear. You can wear a t-shirt, trousers, dress, shirt, shoes, skirt, cap, sneakers, jacket, coat, pullover, and socks. So to say what you can wear, the rule is easy. It's I plus am plus wearing plus clothes. Example, I am wearing trousers. Or I plus wear plus clothes. Example, I wear a dress. Note, if the noun is singular, I put a before it. Example, I wear a dress. Now you can add colors to these clothes. So you have the red, green, purple, blue, pink, orange, black, yellow, and white. Now, to talk about the clothes that you wear and their colors, you have to follow these rules. I plus am plus wearing plus color plus clothes. Example, I am wearing a green skirt. Or I plus wear plus color plus clothes. Example, I wear blue sneakers. Now, question number two. When do you go out? The answer to this question could be on Saturday, in the evening, at six o'clock. So to tell the time, we use the following time expressions. In plus month, for example, in January, in February, in March, in April, in May, in June, in July, in August, in September, in October, in November, and in December. You have also on plus day, for example, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, and on Sunday. And we have at plus time, at 6 o'clock, at 8 o'clock, at 10 o'clock, at 12 o'clock. We have other time expressions like in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. And we have also at midday and at night. We go to question number three now. Why does Amin go to the park? That's right. Amin goes to the park to play football with his friends. Now, why do you go to the park? To the restaurant, to the cinema, to the supermarket, to the zoo? You go to the park, for example, to play with a ball, play with friends, buy ice cream, eat a sandwich, drink juice. And if you go to the restaurant, 
What can you eat or drink? In the restaurant, I can eat a salad, soup, chicken, sandwich, meat, fish, pizza, couscous, spaghetti. You can also eat ice cream, fruit, and cake. And I can drink orange juice, apple juice, and mineral water. Now, for the cinema. Why would you go to the cinema? You can go to the cinema to watch a film, or you can also say, I go to the cinema to buy popcorn and watch a film. Now, for the zoo. We usually go there to see the animals. Well, at the zoo we can see the bear, the lion, the giraffe, the elephant, the tiger, and the crocodile too. So, I go to the zoo to see animals, see the lion and the tiger. They can run, but they can't fly. They eat meat. I go to the zoo to see the monkey. The monkey can jump, but it can't fly too. The monkey eats bananas. I go also to see the giraffes. They can walk, but they can't swim. They eat grass. And I can also say I go to the zoo to see the bear. The bear can walk and run, but can't fly. The bear eats everything. The supermarket now. We generally go there to buy food like... Meat, chicken, eggs, cheese, fish, milk, butter, bread, fruit, chocolate, water, shoes, clothes, books. You can also go to the bookshop to buy books and other things like a pen, a ruler, a pencil, a pencil case, a notebook, an eraser. Finally, you can go to the clothes shop. And why would you do that? To buy clothes, of course. So, to say why you go to a place, the rule is easy. I go to the park. Why? To play football. I go to the park to play football. I go to the restaurant. Why? To have dinner. So, I go to the restaurant to have dinner. I go to the zoo. Why? To see the animals. So, I go to the zoo to see the animals. I go to the cinema. Why? To watch a film. So, I go to the cinema to watch a film. Now, usually, when you go out to those places, you go with someone or you meet him or her there. So, who is the person that goes with you or that you meet there? It can be someone from your family, like your father, mother, sister, brother, or a friend, or many friends. So now that you know how to say the time when you go out, what you wear, where you go, why you go there, and who goes with you or you meet, let's try to write an email around your day out. But before writing this email, keep in mind these steps. Number one, the starting words like Hi, hello, how are you? Number two, the ending words like love, bye, see you, right soon. Number three, the punctuation marks and the capital letters at the beginning of sentences. Let's look at the following example of an email that we can write to Amin to describe your day out. Hi Amin, how are you? On Saturday afternoon, I wear a pink dress and yellow shoes. At 5 o'clock, I go to the cinema with my friend Selwa. We watch a cartoon film. After the film, we go to the restaurant. I eat salad and chicken. Selwa eats soup and fish. Then we eat chocolate cake. I love chocolate cake. What about you? Do you like cake? Love, Linda. So, in this email, we use the time expressions like on Saturday afternoon and at 5 o'clock. The clothes that you can wear if you are a girl, of course, a pink dress and yellow shoes. 
the places where you can go, the cinema and the restaurant, the person who goes with you, and here we have with my friend Salwa, and finally, what we do in those places. For example, in the cinema, we watch a film. In the restaurant, I eat salad and chicken. Salwa eats soup and fish. And then we eat chocolate cake. So, you can see, writing an email to describe your day out is very easy. Just remember to use capital letters at the beginning of sentences and full stops at the end. Try to avoid spelling mistakes and do not write long sentences. I hope that this video lesson helps you review for your exam and good luck everyone!